Well, it's uh, day 29 and it is moving day. Say farewell to Findlay Creek and we are off to Perry Creek today. So let's hit the road. Welcome to Zorback, Zorback Adventures. Adventures. Follow me this summer as I travel the BC Kootenays in the Canadian Rocky Mountains. At this point, I realized that I didn't see my pry bar uh, for the stabilizer hitch in the back when I was packing. So I'm going to turn around and go back and have a look at camp to see if maybe it fell out there. Luckily, I didn't get too far down the road here, so it's only a short trip back. So I won't bother filming that, and uh, we'll just continue from here like nothing happened.
before this driveway so not looking good and as you can see the rear brake line is not doing well well I still have front brakes and trailer brakes so I think I'm gonna try and limp it to Perry Creek and we'll unhook the trailer there and have a better look and figure out what we're gonna do from there I guess
Well, I am at Perry Creek. Not without its mishaps. It's just one breakdown after another. I just can't even get over it. I just don't get it. So this time I had a brake line go. So right now I have no rear brakes. It just never ends. So I'm going to unhook and get the, the trailer leveled off and whatnot. Well, I'm already unhooked, but... And then I might run to Cranbrook because it's only 15 minutes down the road and see if I can go find some brake line. If not, then I'll have to get a shop to fix that because I can't drive around with no brakes, obviously. So, well, yeah, that's uh, the tragedy for today, I guess. So, whatever, I'm going to get set up and then we'll go from there. Well, I have made it to Perry Creek. I am situated at roughly, I don't know, five kilometers in or so. It is blazing hot and I've had quite a day. First thing when I left this morning, I left at uh, about 8 o'clock and I didn't get 3K down the road and realized I didn't see the pipe that I used to uh, tighten down my uh, equalizer hitch. So I stopped and yeah, sure as hell I didn't have it in the truck anywhere so turned around, went back to the campsite. Luckily I didn't get too far but uh, yeah, I couldn't find it there either. So. I think I had the tailgate off the truck one time this week sometime and I drove up the road somewhere and I think it must have rattled out so long story short I ended up going back to the highway and I got the uh, equalizer on uh, on the third chain so the third loop and I snapped it in place so it was okay I made it here no problem that way but uh, yeah, I know it wasn't too far down the road. I got to Kimberly and all of a sudden my brakes are getting spongy. So, <laughs> so I pulled over in Kimberly. Yeah, sure as hell the brake line has got a little leak. Probably been rattling around and it's rusty, right? So it's an old truck. What do you expect? So, uh, yeah, uh, back brakes no more at this point. I went, once I got here, I set the trailer up and ran into Cranbrook. I ended up picking up another brake line, a uh, crimping tool, or not a crimping tool, a flaring tool. I have my little cutter, I got some other uh, brake fluid and stuff, so I have everything I think I need and I'm just going to do it right here. Other than bleeding the brakes, I can't really do that by myself anyway, so uh, should have brakes tomorrow and it's just, it's been too hot, I'm not doing nothing today at all, I haven't even unpacked the truck yet, so. But uh, yeah, tomorrow's plan A is going to be uh, do the brakes, and if I get that going, then uh, if it's not too hot, I might venture right up the road here and start exploring a little bit, but it's supposed to be pretty bloody hot again tomorrow too, so yeah, we'll see what happens, but uh, yeah, that's my, <laughs> been my day so far. Once I got here, like I said, I ran to Cranbrook and got everything I needed, so hopefully uh, we should have this working again tomorrow, so. Well, one good thing uh, become of today. Uh, I rolled into the uh, superstore and uh, I needed fuel so I pulled up to the pump there and they said they had no regular and no mid-grade so they were selling premium for the price of regular gas. So I uh, scooped up, filled my tank and uh, scooped up a bunch of gas into the uh, slip tank as well. What a deal, I got uh, premium for $1.86 today so that was a pretty good deal. I got a picture of that too, I took a picture of the pump. so. One thing went my way, I guess, anyway, so, yeah, that was kind of nice. Well, I did get one thing fixed today. Look at that. No more Mexican gas cap. That's a nice brand new one. 20 bucks or something like that. Cheap, cheap. Done. So, here's the site. That's the road in. Pretty easy road to get in. Like I said, we're only 5K in. A lot of these weird big plants here. I'm gonna have to, I'll get a close-up of some of those. But it's uh, been logged. This is logging road for sure. But uh, and they you had a burn pile here at one point by the looks of it. So that's where they got rid of all the excess. But uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. I don't know how far it is to go to get water yet. I will find that out in the next day or so because uh, I'm gonna need water. I do have probably two thirds of a tank inside the trailer yet, but. 
at that point I'm going to be looking pretty quick. So, so yeah, this is it. Perry Creek site. So I've got the trailer pointing almost directly south. We are going to get plenty of sun here. There's not too much trees. I'm kind of in the open here, so uh, I should get sun early. And the sun is still up now, and it's like almost 6 o'clock, so 7 o'clock almost probably, actually. So we're going to get full sun here. That'll help. This place uh, reminds me just of the last place, too. I, as soon as I pulled in here, I seen a bunch of cattle, so... And there's a bunch of cattle guards around here, so it's free range cattle in here too, so same idea as Findley. Man, I don't know what these things are, but they sure grow tall. Like holy crap, look at this thing. That's eight feet high. And they're just growing like weeds here. Huh. Well, I don't know what these things are called. I might have to look that up. Well, here you have it. Today's heat wave. 37. Kind of warm. Kind of warm. Well, I'm going to sign off for now. It's been a long day. I'll leave you with a shot of the GPS and a drop in on the map because I still didn't know that the GPS wasn't working properly. So, And as well, a shot of the moon. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, share, and hit that subscribe button. It'll help me to further my channel. And as always, thanks for watching.